because you had the crossover between Daredevil yep. and Batman. You're working on two characters from two different worlds together, a detective, and Matt Murdock is kind of a detective in his own right. I mean, he's a walking crime lab. He can sense things that Batman has to take back to the Batcave to figure out. What was that like? You're meshing two worlds together. Uh, intimidating, because you're working with a character I'm very familiar with, Daredevil, a character I love a lot, Batman, but I've never worked on. So suddenly I've got to do right by him. Right. And I not only have to do right by him, I have to do right by him with Denny O'Neill, the legendary writer. How do I make it right by Denny? Right. And Denny actually had a few points, very nicely put, mm -hmm. but schooled me a couple of times on early versions of the plot that not so much, kid. You need to do this. The best one was at one point I had something about the, bring the Batmobile uh, mindlessly to New York City. Right. And he says, what do you think this thing travels on the open road? He just drives us down I-95 or something. It's like, how is this going to work? Right. So putting that together was challenging in a good way. It made me have to step up my game. So I was happy to do that. And I was really thrilled with that particular story by finding the connection between Matt Murdock, the lawyer, and Harvey Dent, two-foot face, and his lawyer background, right. which was a lot of fun to spin out.